a seed industry is such an essential element in human survival, period. There's no question over that one. So in order for us to survive, we need to come up with better seeds. The seed improvement initiatives that have been started and that will continue to carry on, you know, I think those are part of the solution. How can we make seed that is healthier, has better yields, using fewer inputs with conditions that are not as ideal as we'd like? We're trying to plant things or, or create a, an environment where we can put plants where they don't normally grow so that we can feed that, that growing population. We're working to have more vigorous seeds, more uh, traits that will produce more of the food and the fuel and the fiber. Biotechnology is, if you take the word apart, bio is life, and then technology, I think we all understand technology with our iPhones and, and computers, and so, you know, if you put those together, it's, it's learning new things about life. The coolest part of my job is, is actually some of the equipment we're working with, the technology. Same type of equipment they'd use on NCIS or CSI and working with DNA. We're using the DNA in various ways. A plant, just like a human being, they have fungal enemies, bacterial enemies, pest enemies. So if you harness those genes that are natural resistant, and incorporate them into the plants. So we have a plant actually survives in the field, which actually produce more yield without really depending on those chemicals that may not be good for nature or our bodies. There's just so much going on. The technology is constantly changing and it's always upping the ante. We're going to have to find a way to, you know, sustain the resources that we've got. There's a lot of things that are important about cover crops. We lose a lot of the soil from erosion or, you know, the water runs off. We're putting those nutrients back in the soil or drawing them up from deeper levels, drawing moisture up from deeper levels so that we can, we can protect the valuable resources that exist there. They're also focused on food, food security as in food storage and logistics and infrastructure and how do we get fresh food to the customer before it spoils. So I think there's a lot of different pieces in play and I think seed is a really important part of that. With seed innovation I think we'll do a better job feeding people and increase their, their standard of living. Being able to discover the unknown and being able to harness those discoveries and put them to a good use. And that is so important for us because our resources are becoming scarce. There's gonna be a lot of just collaboration and innovation coming from younger generations and basically how do we take what we have now and how do we make it better? Some of the great innovations that I think are coming are the fact that we're going to be able to plant seeds in the deserts. We're going to be able to plant them where there isn't enough moisture to currently support life. I know I'm helping people so that we put more food on the table somehow. I think it's a very noble cause and I think that every organization that is represented here in the seed industry, they bring their own part of the solution. Our team is having an impact on the future and, and as bright as it is, that we're going to have a little piece of that. And I can only hope that I can help create that passion in the next generation and, and that my colleagues are doing the same thing.